So I just got back from watching Furiosa and all I got to say is you got to go watch this movie. I don't, I haven't, this is my first time going to the movies um, since I moved to Georgia. I went to the movies a lot back when I lived in Mississippi. So I wanted my experience to be kind of good. I went to a matinee because I don't really like going when there's a lot of people. But there were still people talking in the movie. Not not like a ton, but like doing like pivotal moments in the movie and funny moments. They would like laugh a lot, which I don't bother. doesn't bother me that much, but it's still like just shut the fuck up. Be, be a little quiet, you know. But anyways, to, I digress. This movie was everything that I pretty much wanted it to be. Um, ever since, so I'll, I'll give you guys a little history on me. Uh, I didn't watch the original Mad Max movies before I ended up watching Mad Max Fury Road. And this was, I don't even remember when it was exactly. I watched it after, I, I never got into it until maybe about four years after it had come out, I think. I, I believe that's right. Like, when did it come out? It came out Mad Max. Fury Road. It came out in 2015. So yeah, around that time. Yeah, it was around like 2018 when I ended up watching it. Um, and the movie blew my mind. Like I love, I love the movie. I had to go back and watch the original Mad Max trilogy as well. Um, and I also really love those as well. Like I, obviously I love, I love older movies anyway, so I'm surprised I had never really watched it, but man, this movie was, this was probably one of the best prequels that I've seen in a while. And as far as I know, this year, this is my favorite movie that has come out. Um, I, I, I never got around to watching the Dune series. I might have to go back and watch it. Um, everybody's saying that's like movie of the year, but this one right here is probably, I don't know if it could top it. Um, it's just so good and so well done. Um, George Miller obviously has a history with making some pretty good movies. Um, I actually looked up his, uh, dis, his, um, like his disco discography or whatever you want to call it, his range of movies. Uh, and he's done like happy feet and like babe and stuff, which is crazy Two like cult classic ass movies. But like, obviously he just did a good job with this. Like the, Honestly, it gives you everything you want out of a post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic movie. Um, but it's like beautiful at the same time. Like it, it starts out extreme like honest man. I don't want to spoil anything, but like it starts out very in a different kind of like setting kind of and then it moves into like this this contrasting like obviously into the wasteland type deal thing. And it is so beautiful. Like it's, he just has a knack for being able to, to make something so gritty and just beautiful at the same time. And I love it. Um, it makes me want to go back and watch Fury Road again. I've watched it like three times already. Once with my girlfriend and like twice, like by myself. Um, no reason why, but, but yeah, like it's, just fantastic the the characters that they like have because there's obviously going to be some characters a prequel right and obviously it's a story about furiosa it's in the title so that's not a spoiler but it it moves into like the life of like where she it starts like from almost the beginning and goes all the way up and i mean when i tell you there's like action and like craziness going on with this movie from like beginning to the end there's always something that's like going on and I love a good story. So it's not just about action and like, like I, I feel like the first movie, um, I feel like Fury Road went more into like the whole action side of things where, you know, it's a whole lot more just like jam packed action. And honestly, that movie does really like go from the start. It, it, it goes from the start and it doesn't really stop. You know, and this movie does that too, but they managed to like stuff in a whole lot of story behind it too, which is nice because it honestly reminds me a lot of like the original Mad Max, which if you don't, if you remember the original Mad Max, like it goes, you know, the Road Warrior, they actually go into his story, like how he was a cop, which a lot of people don't even, I don't know if a lot of people liked that movie when it, when it first originally aired, but it goes into like how he became who he is and like what he, you know, it, it, into his upbringing. And it does this kind of like with Furiosa as well, 
The only thing about it is that this goes like way back and the actors are just so good. Um, and the whole story just ties in everything really well. There was one part and I can't really, I can't really talk about it. Well, you know what? I'll tell you this. Obviously, well, it's not really a spoiler if you've seen Fury Road, but obviously Furiosa does not have a left arm. And in this movie, you will find out how that happens. But the, the funny thing about it is that like after it happened, I was like, how did they not see this happening? How did they not know? Like, what? It's, I was, I was, I was honestly questioning, like, how did she get? Like, did, were they just so oblivious that they just didn't notice her? Like, I was like, what's going on? But that that part was still pretty epic, though. Um, and man, Chris Hemsworth, so fucking good, so good in this movie. I my I talked to my girlfriend and I was like, um, <laughs> I was I was like. You, I was like, he's such a good villain. She was like, he's annoying. I was like, I know, and that's why he's such a good villain in this movie. Cause he's, I don't feel like he typically plays that kind of. Well, first of all, he's he doesn't typically play a like a villain, right? But he, everybody is kind of like a villain. Everybody's turned bad and whatnot in this movie. You know, that's just kind of how it is. Um, there really is no. Is it really a good person? I guess in the wasteland, there are no really good people. Everybody's kind of like just trying to survive. And the only way to survive is it's in a dog eat dog world. So it's it's really good, really great. I love the story. The I love the world building and the story. And it, honestly, they really just took Fury Road and they expanded on it and showed like how it like like what's going on and whatnot. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, all the in-depth um the, the depth that they like put into it and how everything tied into it was just beautiful. It was great. If I was to give it a score, I mean, I haven't seen a ton of movies this, this year, but I would probably have to give this because I haven't seen a ton of other movies this year, but I don't think anything else is going to beat this. Um, me, I would say solid 8.5 pretty high. But I, I can't think of nothing else that's gonna, that can beat it. I mean, honestly, there's, with, with like not a lot of good Marvel movies coming out, honestly, that's one of the reasons why I haven't been back to the movies because the movies just haven't been that that great. But man, this movie killed it, man. And yeah, I just wanted to I want to talk about the movie because I want to start doing some stuff like this on my stream where it's not just Marvel Snap. I want to do I want to turn my channel into other things. I said stream a second ago. I'm not taking it out. I meant to say channel. Um, and I just want to do a lot of different things. So go watch this movie and tell me what you think. Do you agree with my rating of it uh, down in the comments? Because I think it's a solid movie. So see you guys later.